Okay, it seems like these rumors of Nintendo adding some type of new retro system to the Nintendo Switch Online pop up every year since like 2018 or so. We've heard about N64 Minis, which would be like one of the micro consoles. We've heard about them potentially adding it to the Nintendo Switch Online. We've heard about Game Boy games coming. We've heard about Game Boy Advance games for multiple years now when it comes to certain rumors, but many people seem to feel that Nintendo is poised to add something sometime this year, especially with their huge focus on bringing back Game Boy Advance style games, or games that were really popular and hot on the Game Boy Advance. But we will get to that in just a minute. Before we do, what's up everybody, OJ here. Welcome back to another video please hit that like button and also subscribe if you are someone new for daily gaming content and also make sure you click that notification bell to get my videos first. Now let's get into the topic at hand here. Now what do I mean by Nintendo is adding Game Boy Advance style games? Well, look at the lineup for this year. Three of the announced games at the recent, or not even really recent, but at the E3 Nintendo Direct, they were games that really flourished on the Game Boy Advance, where some of the best entries were on there or were kind of birthed on there. So, for example, we recently just got an amazing new trailer for Metroid Dread. Well, for those who don't know, Metroid was so big on the Game Boy Advance. We had Metroid Fusion, which was a fantastic game. And then we also had Metroid Zero Mission, which is a remake of the original Metroid and introduced Zero Suit Samus, a character so iconic within the same character that they added that into Super Smash Brothers and made that character their own separate character from Samus and her variety power suit. So that's definitely something to take into consideration here. Now, what's next up? Well, WarioWare Get It Together, one of the best WarioWare games was on the GBA and now they're bringing that back here. Almost it seems like in the same style, going away with some of the stuff that they did with WarioWare, Smooth Moves, and Game and Wario on the Wii U and returning to the roots of what made WarioWare so fun to play on the Game Boy Advance and also on the GameCube. And then last but definitely not least here, we have Advance Wars, which is coming back this December. That game was an explosion on the Game Boy Advance. I remember first playing on there thinking, wow, I have this really cool bite-sized strategy game that's just a lot of fun to play. So you have all of these Game Boy Advance style of games coming into the Nintendo Switch with HD graphics and better gameplay and smoothness and online play for some of them and all of that. So people have been wondering, well, wait a minute, is this a prime opportunity for Nintendo to add a new system, that being the Game Boy Advance, to the Nintendo Switch Online. Now, like I did state, there are some rumors going around, which they've been going around for a couple years now, and so if you wanna check those out, I'll have a link in the description below, but I wanted to talk about something that's a little bit more pressing here, the pressing matter. What you guys think about this, because this is about what the community thinks, so I got your opinions on the community poll page, what you guys think the next system added to the Nintendo Switch Online will be, and here are the results. Now, going from the top to the bottom, we have Game Boy with 37% of the 11K plus votes on the channel. Number two, coming in very close, the Game Boy Advance with 27% of the votes. Next up after that is the Nintendo DS with actually the least amounts with only 4%. So you guys think the Nintendo DS is dunskies when it comes to Nintendo and everything. Next up after that, at a respectable 24% that Nintendo 64, a lot of classic games on there. I think people would like to see running in all of their glorious 20 frames per second on the Nintendo Switch. No, I'm joking with that, guys. Now, next up after this is GameCube or Nintendo Wii with 8%. So a lot of you guys think that Nintendo's actually going to add GameCube or Wii more so than Nintendo DS, but you guys are eh, not so sure on that. I think a lot of you guys are probably thinking that if Nintendo has a GameCube game or a Wii game, they're probably going to remake those like they've been remaking some of the Wii games that are out there, right? We got like No More Heroes, not really a remake, but 
a port of the game remastering the game and everything then legend of zelda skyward sword once again remastering the game bringing it over so i think that's kind of the route that they're going with with gamecube and wii and obviously they can't do every single great game but i think nintendo's going to take that route more so than anything but maybe something like game boy advance maybe something like the game boy these smaller end games bringing them over to a service and here's what i would think guys personally for me i would love to see game boy advance i mean i'm not huge on the retro games and buying them over again and seeing all this type of stuff and waiting for new retro games to come out just because i've already purchased these a million times i've already bought these a million times like i already have them if i want to play them i have them on the classic systems i have them on wii u i have them on 3ds like i have them on all sorts of stuff so it's not like a huge thing for me overall but if they were to bring a system i definitely want to see game boy advance i think game boy advance is a lot better than the game boy i mean obviously it's the successor to it and everything but sometimes the successor doesn't always have better games in everyone's opinion but i do think in this case in particular it's just the far superior system when it comes to what games are on there all the games that came out on the game boy those were cool they were fun and everything but game boy advance took it to the next level we have a game like metroid dread coming out i think it would be fantastic for people to be able to play metroid zero mission people will be able to play metroid fusion on the nintendo switch now those are available on the wii u if you have them but many people i guess don't have a wii u i actually busted out the wii u just the other day just to make sure to test it to see if it still runs and yep all my games are still good everything still runs properly and all that even though it's been disconnected for years now so i do think that game boy advance would be the natural and the best pick for it, especially with the type of games that are coming out this year like i already stated with WarioWare and with advance wars and also with metroid dread that classic 2d gameplay being brought back moving the series forward and also another thing to note metroid fusion was like the last time that the series went forward in terms of story wise and now 19 years later right we have that with metroid dread so i think that the game boy advance bringing that over would be a symbolic and also a good move overall there hasn't been a new system added to the nintendo switch online in quite some time and i do think that while it is more of a vocal minority that really is yelling about the classic games and all stuff like that most people probably don't care or they want to just play the new stuff or they want to buy like the new indie games and things like that rather than sitting there and playing the older games i just think it would be cool and it would also add a little bit more value to the nintendo switch online that many people don't like at all i think some people are satisfied with what they're getting whatever the case is it's cheap they just use it to play their online but i think it would be pretty cool but here's the one thing that i will say with this depending on whatever system they add or whatever the case is it's going to open the floodgates because once you add one system people are going to want every single game people are going to want every single thing on that said system and then it's just going to keep snowballing like the wii u kind of snowballed the wii u had so many different systems on there and different types of games and people were not happy with it i remember vividly seeing people complain about the nintendo wii u virtual console despite it having all of this stuff that people are wanting with metroid fusion and with metroid zero mission and with n64 and with all these different games on there from the classic nintendo library and people complained about that as well so it's like a double-edged sword with like virtual console or nintendo switch online these classic games because as soon as you add one thing people are going to want a bunch or a million different other things and remember when nintendo switch online they actually include the like online play and other features as well so there's actually development time and work that goes into making these on there it's not just a drag and drop or copy and paste and all of a sudden it works across all the nintendo switch online so i do think that is a little bit of a slippery slope in terms of what nintendo gets into but i still feel that they do need to add some value value to that nintendo switch online but i think the biggest thing here is that when are they going to increase the price if they are going to be adding these different types of systems with game boy advance and with these other different types of games and everything like that eventually the price will have to increase or there's going to have to be a plus program so like a nintendo switch online plus to where you get some extra access to different systems or something like that and maybe they charge like ten dollars more or five dollars more for it so eventually it's definitely going to go up as they continuously add games and everything because with these games 
you actually get to keep them and they don't go away for the most part if you don't subscribe to the service they do but for example nintendo doesn't switch out games they don't rotate or anything like that they do that like with the trial games that you get but not with the actual classic games they just stay on there so i definitely see if they're going to start adding all these different systems and doing this different type of stuff there might be a slight price increase at some point but we're gonna have to wait and see because this is all still rumor when it comes down to it but overall like i did state here maybe it does happen you guys have spoken in terms of what you guys think nintendo's going to add first with game boy then game boy advance coming right after that in that second place spot there so we'll see what nintendo does but i think game boy advance is the good pick i vividly remember so many great game boy advance games on there there's some great fire emblem stuff that people can play there's some great advance wars obviously we're getting that new one the reboot camp but the classic games are really good as well plus there's more that's not coming in that package so i would love to see them add game boy advance if they can but we'll see what else entails with that maybe at the rumored nintendo direct in september the fall direct which i talked about recently on the channel if you haven't checked it out so what are your thoughts on this when it comes to classic retro games potentially coming back or not? Let me know in the comment section below. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this video here. Check out the links in the description. We've got Twitter. Going to give us a follow on there. Stay up to date on all latest gaming news and information. Also, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you can. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll catch you for the next one. Peace.